sky is blue, the grass is green, there's a chill in the air. It's a wonderful day for baseball because baseball is a wonderful game. Today's video, we're going to talk about what to do after you field the ground ball. In other words, how to throw the ground ball and where to throw it to. Now, the good thing about playing the infield is once you field the ball, there's only four places you can throw the ball. First base, second base, third base, or home. First base is where most of the time you're going to throw the ball after fielding it. just so happens to be that way. Now, we talked in a previous video about fielding the ground ball and staying low. Fielding the ground ball here. And if the ball's hit right at you, and let's say, for example, we're going to go to first base. Ball's hit right at you and you're moving forward. The first thing you're going to do after you field it is not just plant and throw. What you're going to do is you're going to field it, take a little hop step, and then throw over the top. And the reason you take that hop step, it gives you time to set, it gives you more accuracy in your throw, and you'll get more strength on the throw. In other words, the ball will get to the first baseman or the second baseman, wherever you're going to throw to, in a quicker and more accurate fashion. Now, if the ball's hit to your left, remember we talked about the crossover step. Well, that gives you really good position to go ahead and set and throw the ball. In other words, you hear, turn, take the hop step, and then throw over the top. That's very important because that hop step is probably the most important thing in making that throw. Nine times out of ten, you're going to have enough time to take that hop step and the added accuracy and the added strength and zip on the ball to where you're throwing it to will make up for any time that you, know, you use to take up that hop step. Now, if the ball is hit to your right, oftentimes you're like this. And a lot of people will like to take the ball then and just turn and throw. You don't want to do that. If the ball's hit over there, more than enough time to take that plant and uh, sort of a hop step. What you'll do here, and then you'll plant this foot, and now you're set and ready to throw with a lot more on the ball. And if the ball's hit really hard, you plant and throw, maybe take that little hop step again and get it over there. It all depends on your arm strength. Now, one of the tough things when you're playing baseball is to know when the ball is hit very slowly, what to do with it and how to field it. Especially at third base or even at first base, we'll take it third base for right now on the shortstop side. Basically, if the ball's hit really slow and you're charging it like we said you would, and you have to pick it up with your bare hand and throw to first. Pick it up with your bare hand, and it looks cool to just do this. Major leaguers do that all the time. They don't have to most of the time. Sometimes they do. But the problem with throwing from down here is your, it's your natural motion when you're throwing a ball. Not over the top, but under him. Now the problem is, is when you throw it from down here, you don't get enough on it. In other words, you don't get enough zip. And the other problem is, the ball has a tendency to sink as it reaches the first baseman. Putting extra pressure on the first baseman who's trying to reach out and have to dig the ball out of the dirt. So you always want to straighten and throw if you can. You get more zip on it, get more strength on it over the top. You never want to throw sidearm because sidearm, again, is less accurate and you can also hurt your elbow. Now those are the things and that's the way you field and throw a ground ball. Till next time, I'm Bob Brill. Baseball is a wonderful game.